Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to day 70 of the God Hears Our Devotional. This morning's passages are in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 6 through 12, as well as verse 26. So if y'all are ready, let's get started. And the word says, Now, brothers and sisters, if I come to you and speak in tongues, what good will I be to you unless I bring you some revelation or knowledge or prophecy or word of instruction? Even in the case of lifeless things that make sounds, such as... The pipe or the harp, how will anyone know what tune is being played unless there is a distinction in the notes? Again, if the trumpet does not sound a clear call, who will get ready for battle? So it is with you. Unless you speak intelligible intelligible words with your tongue, how will Will anyone know what you are saying? You will just be speaking into the air. Undoubtedly, there are all sorts of languages in the world, yet none of them is without meaning. If then I do not grasp the meaning of what someone is saying, I am a foreigner to the speaker, and the speaker is a foreigner to me. So, it is with you. Since you are eager for gifts of the Spirit, try to excel in those and build up the church. Continuing in verse 26. What then shall we say, brothers and sisters, when you come together? Each of you has a hymn or word of instruction, a revelation a tongue, or an interpretation. Everything must be done so that the church may be built up. One second while I prepare the scripture summary, please. Our scripture summary this morning comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 12. I wrote down, use social media for God's glory, not your own. Now, before you guys say anything in a negative light, most, if not all of you by now, know that I use social media as a type of ministry outlet, if you will. Now, I'm not going into a type of ministry school type setting. I'm just sharing God's word the only way that I know how, and that's through filming. And if I've learned anything in the last year, it's that God doesn't care how I share the word. He just cares that I share it. And since I've been doing YouTube for almost, well, we're on year eight now, but we're almost, we're almost into the nine year mark. I've realized that as long as I keep the positivity and shining light, that that keeps people coming. So I figured if I added in a little bit of, of scripture into the mix as well, then that would, then that would keep other people watching. And then maybe 
at the end of the day that would provoke questions if any of you have any. Um, now, I don't feel qualified to lead people to Jesus. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to spread happiness and positivity. And if I do that through the word of God, then that's great. If I do that through other outlets in my channel, then that's great as well. The main point that I'm trying to do is share my happiness with other people. And if I've done my job, and if that makes God happy and pleased, then at the end of the day, that's all I care about. People's opinions of me and my opinions of other people do not matter. Because in the grand scheme of things, as long as you um, use your outlets to bring positivity and joy to other people, then in my opinion, you've done your job. Um, that's all for this week's devotionals. Thank you all so much for watching and for, and for the prayers for my family as we head to Tomball this week. Um, please keep us in prayers of safety traveling to and from as we are leaving today. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. <clears throat> Have a great weekend.